with small assault groups. The attitude of the German High Command is we're superior. We're going to remain superior and no Soviet attack will succeed. By the start of November, with 90% of Stalingrad in German hands, the battle was virtually won. When the pace of the fight slowed dramatically, the Soviet winter had arrived. The Germans are still not fully equipped for the tremendously low temperatures around minus 30 degrees. They have some winter clothing, but they're still resorting to a newspaper uh, and uh, captured boots and so on in order to try to protect themselves against the cold. And the German army are running short of supplies. One big problem that the Germans are facing is the length of their supply lines. It's impossible to advance for many, many months and weeks. You have to stop somewhere. You have to reach your target. You have to wait for more resources coming. Surrounded by a wasteland, everything of potential value had been destroyed or removed by the Soviet defenders. The Wehrmacht were counting on a rapid collapse of the enemy and getting a lot of access to resources on enemy territory, which they don't get in Russia because of scorched troop policies. Stalingrad reveals the absolute limits of uh, German logistics. Powerless and his troops regroup for a final push. If they can claim the last scraps of the city, they can cross the Volga and extend Hitler's empire to the Urals. But still the Soviets refuse to give way, clinging to tiny enclaves along Stalingrad's riverbank. The Soviet resistance holds out until November the 19th, the day the war changes.